Hi, this is John Digweed. And this is Sasha. And uh, looking forward to seeing you all. At SW4, yeah, we're closing the main stage, so we'll see you there. We still do quite a few gigs together, but not usually in England. So, America, yeah, we've done we've been, quite we've a lot. We've been doing a lot in the States, LA, uh, New Zealand, a couple of times. Um, yeah, we've do, around the world, we, we definitely play together a lot. It's just, it has been way too long yeah. uh, since we've done uh, regular dates in the UK. So, um, you know, we had the opportunity to play the main stage at SW4. The fact that it's central London, um, it attracts such a wide range in audience, you know, there's an older crowd that come and the, the young crowd as well. It's, it's a real cross section of people. Um, they've also, the diversity of the lineups in each of the tents as well as the main stage, there's something there for, for everyone. And I think people get a, a huge festival on their doorstep that's only a taxi or a tube away. It's going to be great to be back in uh, the UK again. Um, we've neglected it, I think, over here a little bit. I mean, the first one in, in, that we did on Hastings Pier together was, I mean, that was the night that we kind of realised that we had some kind of amazing chemistry because we just played back to back for the first time. And I think the set that we did night that, that night pretty much formed the basis of what became the Renaissance CD, so. I think recently the show that we did in Buenos Aires yeah. together, the outdoor South, South Fest. Fest thing that we did where it was raining and the crowd were going mental, that was a, that was a real highlight. Um, 25,000 people, yeah. just there. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. For the rest of the year, I've got, um, well, we've got a lot of gigs on over the summer. It's that silly season again. Um, and um, I've just done a remix for the Doves of their Jetstream track, which has turned out really, really well. I'll be going back in the studio come October, November time to work on some new material. But um, until then, yeah, I've just got a lot of gigs on. So. Same for me really, lots of gigs all around the planet, uh, the record label just pushing on with new releases and um, there's a new chat from Nick Muir and myself which is about 80% there so hopefully have that finish for the summer as well. If I wasn't a DJ I'd probably be a travel agent. <laughs> <laughs> If I wasn't a DJ, I have not really any idea. I mean, I love to cook, but the idea of being a chef, I've seen all these reality shows on TV. I don't like the look of that. Um, I'm just lucky to have found something that you enjoy with a passion that's actually turned into a career. Um, you know, it's a very fortunate aspect of what we do. It's, it's, it's your hobby and it's your, and it's your income as well. It's, 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 it's amazing. The last set on the main stage when the sun's starting to set, it's a really magical experience. So, I mean, every time that I've done that, it's been fantastic. Every year seems to get better. Just happy to be back there again doing it. And the bonus this year is the first time I get the chance to, to close the main stage with Sasha. So it should be you know, a real highlight. <laughs>